Hey right, guys, hope you're well. So, today we are doing a tasting video. Look at this. Oh, look at that, it's nice and cold. Now, this is the eating malt stout that we created a little while ago now. Um, been a little busy at work, and also, this hadn't quite finished. I actually tried a couple of bottles uh, with a few friends. Two weeks after this had been bottled, and it was carbonated, and it was very tasty, but it was still slightly sweet. Now I did try some when I initially bottled it before priming and um, it, it wasn't sweet, so uh, it just needed a bit longer in the bottle and uh, it, so we're getting around to doing it now. Now if you want to see the part one video, I'll stick the link at the top so um, well you can see what we did to create this. And uh, I'm actually really looking forward to this, it has been looking at me in the fridge for a little while now. So. We're going to crack some open and drink some beer, because uh, well, it's a homebrewing channel. It would be wrong not to have a beer. So uh, let's, let's just get into this. I need a glass. I always need a glass. Why don't I have a glass? It, I have a glass. It comes in a glass, but um, you, you can't see it. So I'm going to grab, you know, a clear one. Pint glass, that's the word. One pint glass. Oh yeah, looking good, you know, nice and see-through. You know what a pint glass is, so we, we don't need to talk about this. So, oh, I've been looking forward to this, my sweet dark nectar. So the idea behind this is to basically be able to go into a supermarket and make something that resembles a stout. Let's see. I'm going to start from a clean slate like I've never tried this, so let's see if it's actually carbonated. Point it away from the face. Aim it at someone you don't like, and yeah, it's carbonated. Yeah, that works. Don't worry, I didn't shake it up, so that's not too bad. A little bit of CO2. Oh, that smells good. It smells a lot like a stout. I have to say, it does have the stouty aroma. So, this is where those beer brewers are going to complain, because I just pour the bloody thing in. I know this is super ice cold. That is... Leave the dregs in the bottom. So it is actually a clear pint. Yeah, I know, it was poured really badly. I mean, it has carbonation and it has a bit of a head on it. Bad pouring. Um, due to probably a bit of the coldness or maybe it just needed more carbonation. The other bottles were more boisterous. But then again, they weren't cold, so... But it looks pretty good, I have to say. A bit cold. Dark. Not too dark. And it does have a head-ish. <laughs> so, so far, it is not a stout. You know, it's not like the Guinness where you pour in, it's got the rolling thunder. But we, we made this from stuff from a supermarket and a, and a few hops. That, that's it. So, all in all, it kind of looks okay. Looks a bit like Coca-Cola, with a head. Anyway, so, it still has a very pleasant aroma, so I'm gonna drink some. Cheers. Oh, you won't like that. You really won't like that. Haha. <laughs> That's not bad. That is not bad at all. So, um, I'm just gonna, I like sitting with my legs crossed. It's just a thing. So, is it a stout? It kind of tastes like a stout. I have to say, it has the mouthfeel. I am getting the, the coating mouthfeel of the carbohydrates. It has a coffee flavor. I am getting, funny enough, hints of the, the underlying tones of malt in there, but it's mainly that barley flavor, which is, tastes a lot like coffee. I, I like it, I really do. Now it has been aging for a little bit. Uh, that extra time bottle conditioning has taken away that sweetness. It has more of a bitter edge now, which is good because I like stouts with a bit of bitterness. And this has it, before it tasted like eh, coffee that had a bit of sweetness to it. Now this tastes like, yeah, not a bad beer. I drink it. Mm. 
can't really taste any hops whatsoever. Which is good, because it's, it's a stout. You're supposed to taste the, the coffee and deep dark aromas. Carbonation, again, it's not, not bad at all. I mean, most stouts don't really have a lot of carbonation, and, well, this is bubbling. I'll try and get a picture. It is bubbling in the glass, so that's, that's pretty cool. Not bad. I'm going to drink some more, and then we'll be back, and, uh, thoughts, opinions, and, well, ideas, because that's why we brew this stuff, to see how it is, and if it's actually worth doing. So far, though, if you've got nothing else to do and you really want a stout-ish drink, yeah, it's working. It's doing it for me. It's tickling my pink. See you in a bit. So we're back. It has been a little bit, as you can tell, just been sipping my pint, gathering my thoughts, and, you know, acclimatizing my palate, because, well, you want to know how it tastes. I mean, you know, it's got that mouthfeel. It does have hallmarks of something. We have created something. Now, it has stout, because it, it, it has all the hallmarks of stout, because, well, we used barley that we roasted to death in a pan, but we still roasted it to death. So it does have those barley coffee aromas. It also has sort of, if I didn't know better, it tastes like I've put aromatic malt in there. Yeah, for those people that don't know aromatic malts, just make it taste more malty. It has a very malty flavor. It has those coffee hints. It's very, very easy to drink. Mmm. It does. I'm still not tasting any hops whatsoever. I know they're in there, but I'm not getting the flavor. Now, the color. The color is not black as midnight on a moonless night. It is sort of brown. It kind of looks like an ale with fizz, which is good because ales are disgusting. So, sorry, ale fans, but uh, I'm not an ale fan. I like my beer with fizz. So, it's... It is pretty good for what it is. We created something from a supermarket using random stuff and it it tastes good. It does. That extra bottling time, that extra aging time has really mellowed and sort of infused those flavors. When I first tried it, like I said, it tasted kind of sweet. It doesn't have that sweetness anymore. Instead, it's got coffee and malty aromas and flavors and it's just good all round fun. Really good stuff. Cheers. Mmm. Now, of course, it would be unfair if I didn't get the other bottle, which has a lovely sticker of my face. Because, you know, I'm like that. I just mark my territory. But I have slightly warmed this bottle in a jug of, well, warm water, because, um... This is what it's like nearly ice cold, and it's very, very tasty, but a slightly warmer version, still cold, because you can't drink warm beer, it's, it's horrible. So we're going to try again. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that is delightful. That is actually really tasty. It tastes like a beer and a stout at the same time. It's malty, it's got coffee hints, it's sort of an in-between. If you don't like stout, but you like beer, but you like coffee, but you don't like stout, this is kind of the middle ground. So I know what you're gonna say. It's like, well, then you didn't add enough barley to it. And I don't think I did. So we added 500 grams of barley that we roasted in a frying pan because my oven is one of those air ovens. So as soon as I turn it on, anything dry and small will just get blown away all over the place and um, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be picking up single grains of barley from, from an oven. So we did it in a frying pan. Not the best way of doing it. It's a cheap and dirty way. I mean, it's homebrew wild and cheap after all. That's how we do things. Anyway, enough talking. Another pint. <laughs> Excuse me for a second. It's got gas. Okay, this bottle is 
it's not cold, but it's not hot at the same time. So let's see if it's got a bit more life to it. Because, you know, fairness and everything. Point it at someone you don't like. Oh, that has a lot more bottle action. And, uh, yep, it's, it's even formed a head. It's got bubbles on the top now. This is more like it was the first time I tried it, because, well, the bottles were warm, but they were mixed up as well. All the sediment that had fell to the bottom got mixed as I took it down to work. So let's try this again. I'm even going to try and pour it not like a, a complete spaz. Well, that's not bad. Give it a little bit more. No, save the dregs, because, yeah. That's not bad, I have to say. It's got a lot more frothy carbonation action to it. Now, as you know, I'm not a great fan of too much carbonation in my beers, but I do like my carbonation, and it's, it's got that. Head retention, yeah, okay. We need more barley in this, we do. I think one kilo to 1.5 kilos of barley, if you are to recreate this recipe. I'm just moving that out of the way, I mean, cross-legged thing, yeah. But the malt, I mean, I cannot fault what we made. It is actually drinkable, and it's tasty, and it's it's a hybrid. It is a bout, a beer stout. It's malty, it's aromatic, and it's got coffee aromas. It's, it's a win in my book. I mean, it's not a true stout, but it doesn't quite have that super dark black color. But if we, if you were to make this recipe and you increase the barley to, say, a kilo, kilo and a half, hey, why not go two kilos, make it super coffee, you would probably end up with something that is remarkably like a stout. If you followed the same recipe, just increase the barley. I'm, yeah, cheers. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Now the first pint is getting my palate cleansed and acclimatizing to this because it does have a bitter edge to it, especially now the sweetness is all gone. Still has that nice mouth feel. It is very nice. Yeah, yeah it's very nice. But at the same time, it needs more, needs more barley. Or if you're feeling really cheap and down and dirty, you can mix in 500 grams of the barley and then actually add coffee to it because well. We, we literally cheated the whole beer. I mean, we used Raynar's Essentials Organic Malt Extract, which I bought for an amazingly cheap price from uh, Approved Foods. Again, that's in video one, or the, the, uh, the Porter one, either way. The Blueberry Porter, that was good. So we've made two different beers from this it's fantastically cheap eating malt. As long as you sort of keep it in, in relative like ideas that you're going to create a stout or a porter with the eating malts instead of something like a Budweiser, you, you can't go far wrong. Either way, it's a damn fine pint considering how cheap it is to make. So I'm going to drink some more because I can and probably ramble because uh, I, like, I like doing that. It's been a while since I've done a video. It just, I like talking to myself or you guys, you, everyone and your smiling faces. So, uh, I drink this on your behalf. It's a hard life. Oh. So all in all, would I say this is a success? Yes, I would. I mean, we have, oh, pardon me. This thing is gassy and frothy and really tasty. It tastes good on the way up as well. I'm sorry, it, it, it's vulgar, but it's true. It tastes just as good as it comes up as it goes down. That's a win-win. So, I would make this again. Now, I would change the amount of barley that I added in if I could get more of the Raynar's eating malt, because I only have five kilos left now, because I've been experimenting, because that's what we do. Um, when I can get more of it, because approved foods, it just sort of comes in and out, or if I can find it in a supermarket, I will be buying this stuff because the blueberry porter was exquisite. It was really good. This, even though it is version one, is still very, very drinkable. It's still very palatable. It's 
It's very, very good considering what we use to make this with. Not bad. It's not a Guinness. It's not a Guinness. Guinness has a lot more coffee aromas. It has a lot more head retention. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, it's true. And it also has, um, well, more mouthfeel. It's like a super crazy. It's, it's like almost eating glycerin. Um, yeah, see, see another video for that. So, <laughs> this is good stuff. I, I like it. I really do like this. So guys, I'm gonna leave the video there. Eating Mott Stout. Let us know what you want us to make next. And um, yeah, you know, do all those things that YouTubers tell you to do and just, you know, carry on homebrewing. And uh, never say never. Cheers, guys. Oh, this is good.